Hi folks, welcome to another Craig's Hack for Tableau. Today I'm going to show you a hack that's been around for quite a while. Originally presented at a Tableau user group about uh, three years ago and uh, uploaded it to YouTube. And you, some of you may have seen it. It's about getting uh, shape indicators uh, instead of circles on a map to indicate uh, up, down, or the same. So I'd like to show you again in a quicker version. This time I'm going to see if I can keep it down to five minutes. So let's get going with some uh, APAC Superstore data. So I'm going to uh, just put Pop City on there, and I'm going to color the uh, circles by profit ratio. And I'm going to do the sales by size. So I'm going to then nudge the size of those circles up a bit. And there we go. You can see um, the different cities, how profitable they are, how many sales. So the challenge here is uh, the boss wants to know how sales are going this year on last year as well in this biz. So let's start by grabbing order date and uh, just taking that up making it a year. You get a whole lot of little mini years there. Let's just keep 15 and 14. Okay, so now we need to see uh, how sales have gone in each of the cities this year, last year. So let's do a table calculation for that one. So we're going to just take a copy of this sum of sales by control gradient to detail. And we're going to change this one to be a table calculation, which is percentage difference. I'm just going to clarify that is compute using order date. Can't quite see that, it's off your screen, but I'm clicking on order date. So now we can see that we have a percentage difference. Previous year, 40% there in Brisbane. You see the sales there, gone from 20 grand to 28 grand. Okay, that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is you can't really tell from this. Let's get some sort of indicator on there. Now, to get an indicator on there, I want to use shape. So to do that, I really need to uh, create a, uh, a discrete measure that kind of acts like a dimension. So let's um, grab this sum of sales as a percentage. Let's pop that over and make it a real measure. I'm just going to call that one um, percentage difference sales v prior year. So now let's reuse that in a calculator field, and we're going to call this one uh, sales v last year. And we're going to say if the percentage is greater than zero, then sales went up. And we're going to say else, let's reuse this one, if they were less than zero, and they went down. And just to be really thorough, uh, we're going to copy that one again. I'm going to say if they were bang on the same, then they're the same. And we might just say uh, else, just to catch all of the other ones, we'll say it's not applicable. So once we've got that, you'll see that it appears as a uh, ABC, it's like a discrete measure. So that will allow us now to use shapes. Um, so let's just change this to be a shape mark, and the default shape is a circle. But we're going to use this shape here now, and you'll see that we now have down, up, and not applicable. So let's get those shapes to be a little bit more meaningful. I like to use the default ones, the filled shapes, uh, down, pointing down, and up, pointing up, and maybe we're not applicable. Just leave as a um, default circle. Cool. We'll apply those. There we go. Now we have uh, shapes, and we turn our highlighter on. We can see all the cities that sales have gone down, and we can see all the cities that sales have gone up. We really don't want to have both years here. We can't just get rid of 2014, otherwise there would be no relative year. So let's filter out anything that is null. And the way to do that is to just grab your uh, percentage difference last year. And we're just going to do a special filter here called non-null values. And voila, 
2014 has disappeared. We've just got 2015. We can now highlight all of those cities where sales have gone down, hover up the top of them, and we can see those numbers there. So there you go, the up, down, same Craig's hat. Thank you for tuning in and happy visiting. Snag it.